Hello, everyone. This video will briefly describe our work. Real ESR GAN. Training real-world blind super resolution with pure synthetic data. Single image super resolution aims at reconstructing a high-resolution image from its low-resolution counterpart. However, most approaches, such as ESR GAN, assume an ideal bicubic downsampling kernel, which is different from real degradations. For example, the ESR GAN method cannot restore the real-life images. It cannot remove unknown blurs, complicated noises, and common compression artifacts. Our goal is to extend the powerful ESR GAN to a practical restoration application, namely, real ESR GAN, so that it can restore low-resolution images suffering from unknown and complex degradations. For example, successfully restore the following degraded images. There are several challenges for real-world blind super resolution. The first one is the unknown and complex degradations. Usually, paired training data with similar degradations to real scenarios is required to train the networks. Previous work can be roughly classified into three categories. 1. Capture paired data with specific cameras followed by alignments, such as real SR. 2. Directly learn degradation distributions from unpaired data and then synthesize paired data for training, such as cycle in cycle GAN. 3. Synthesize paired data with classical operators, such as blur, noise, etc., and then generalize trained models to real degradations. Our real ESR GAN is in the last category, and we want the synthesized data to be as close to real data as possible. Another challenge is to deal with diverse degraded images in one unified network. Blind SR methods typically consist of two branches, one for degradation prediction, and the other for conditional restorations. However, it is not clear whether this design is necessary, and whether we can process all degraded images in one network. For this challenge, please refer to our recent work, Finding Discriminative Filters for Specific Degradations in Blind Super Resolution, published on New RIPS 2021. Real ESR GAN adopts the latter design and processes all degraded images in one network. The classical degradation model usually involves blur, downsample, noise, and JPEG compression. However, it still cannot resolve complicated degradations in the real world. The real complex degradations usually come from complicated combinations of different degradation processes, such as the imaging system of cameras, image editing, and internet transmission. For example, when we take a photo with our cell phones, the photos may have several degradations, such as camera blur, sensor noise, sharpening artifacts, and JPEG compression. We then do some editing and upload to a social media app which introduces further compression and unpredictable noises. The above process becomes more complicated when the image is shared several times on the internet. This motivates us to extend the classical first-order degradation model to high-order degradation modeling for real-world degradations. That is, the degradations are modeled with several repeated degradation processes, each process being the classical degradation model. Empirically, we adopt a second-order degradation process for a good balance between simplicity and effectiveness. Note that the high order here is different from that used in mathematical functions. It mainly refers to the implementation time of the same operation. We further employ the sync filter, an idealized filter that cuts off high frequencies, to synthesize ringing and overshoot artifacts for training pairs. As for the network architecture, we want to process all degraded images in one network, and adopt the same generator as ESR GAN. For super resolution with a scale factor of 2 and 1, we first employ the pixel unshuffle to reduce the spatial size at the beginning to cut down the computation consumption. We also employ UNet discriminator with spectral normalization to increase discriminator capability and stabilize the training dynamics. Here are some qualitative comparisons. We can see that our real ESR GAN outperforms previous approaches in both restoring brick texture details and removing ringing artifacts. Here is another comparison. Real ESR GAN can effectively restore the details in the resolution cards while removing ringing artifacts. 
Realistic tree textures can be well recovered in the bottom image. We also provide a non-reference image quality assessment, NIQE for reference. Note that existing metrics for perceptual quality cannot well reflect the actual human perceptual preferences on the fine-grained scale. Though our real ESR GAN does not optimize for NIQE scores, it still produces lower NIQE scores on most real testing datasets. Here is a video showing the comparison between the inputs and real ESR GAN outputs. We can see the effectiveness of real ESR GAN in removing blur and noises. We also optimize real ESR GAN for anime images by fine-tuning it on the collected anime images. It could obtain better visual quality on anime images with sharper edges. Here is a demo of upsampling the Naruto image to 4K resolution. We can clearly see that real ESR GAN removes blurs and unknown noises. Here is another example showing the rendered anime image. We can also see the improvements by our real ESR GAN. There are still many limitations of real ESR GAN. For example, some restored images, especially building and indoor scenes, have twisted lines due to aliasing issues. GAN training also introduces unpleasant artifacts on some samples. Real ESR GAN could not remove out of distribution complicated degradations in the real world. Even worse, it may amplify these artifacts. These drawbacks have a great impact on the practical application of real ESR GAN which are in urgent need to address in future works. So, it is just the beginnings of practical restoration. We can also see other excellent works, such as Real SR, BSR GAN, SWIN IR. And we believe there will be more and more practical works towards real-life applications. We embrace open source. All the training and testing codes are open in GitHub. The training is based on the basic SR framework. We also provide a collab demo for real ESR GAN, and portable Windows, Linux, macOS executable files for Intel, AMD, NVIDIA GPUs, which is based on Tencent and CNN. We also incorporate the face restoration method, GFP GAN, to improve the face performance. Real ESR GAN will be a long-term supported project. It will be continuously updated in our spare time. You can find more information on the GitHub project page. Thanks for your watching.